Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Akis. In this video, let me explain signal input and signal output. So most of us know this at input and output. This is used for transferring data between the components. Like using this at input decorator, we can transfer the data from parent to child component. Similarly, using this output and even emitter, we can transfer the data from child to parent component. The same way only this signal input and output will work, but it is more effective. Okay. First, we can see what is this signal input. Signal inputs are reactive way to handle the component inputs. They work similarly to our at input. That's what I have mentioned. But it exposes the values using a signal that can change during the component life cycle. So the additional properties of inputs like creating allies and making us required and by setting the default value and data type, everything we can do in this signal output also, okay? So the same thing is applicable for the signal output. The angular signal output handle the event emitting from the function itself, eliminating the need of event emitter. The thing is, normally if you are using this at output, we will use the event emitter. But when you are moving to this signal output, there is no need to use the event emitter, okay? So now we can see one example with this signal input and output, then you will get some better idea, okay? I just created one Angular application. Uh, my application version is Angular 18. So here I'm having two components. One is calc, this is my parent component, and another one is child component. So in my parent component, I'm having two inputs. One is height and another one is width. In the bottom, I just refer the child component, okay? So next in my child component, I'm having two inputs. One is height and another one is width. I, I just marked both are required and assigned the default value as zero. For these two inputs, I just transfer data from my parent component. See this height and width, okay? Next, once I received the value, I'm doing this calculation. The, the calculated value will be available in this area value. Basically, this value won't reflect automatically, okay? So that's what. I am doing this calculation in this ng on changes hook and then displaying in our HTML side in my child component. Okay. So this is all about the at input. Let me show you from the browser side. So if you look at here, uh, we can see this height and width. And width 3. So both are from our parent component. The data is transferred into our child component here. The value is calculated, finally binding it here. Now if I'm changing this into four, the value will be reflected automatically, okay? So now I'm just converting this at input into signal input. So we can start our change from our child component. First, let me command this normal inputs, okay? And then declaring the signal input here. small input again this one also belongs to the angular slash core okay it's not mandatory put the default value and here we can define the data type it's number right and also uh, if you noted here we included the required property the same thing we can do it here also required right so next to declaring one more input that is for the width okay the next thing is we have to do the calculation so in this signal for doing the calculation we have option is called computed it's a default function we can reuse it here okay for the reference purpose i am commanding the existing code And using this computed function, it's having the callback event. So inside that, we can do this calculation. Height. This is a signal, so we have to use this function bar for getting the actual value. Right. So next in this send data function, we are getting the error. The reason is uh, this area value also has the signal value so we have to use like this next in this upper side we have this ng unchange hook 
since we are using the signals, uh, no need to use this ng on changes hook. We can command this and removing this implementation, right? Let me save them. So here uh, we are able to see one bonding area values the function, yes. So in our child component side, uh, so here also we need to use this function, right? The bonding also got closed. We can check now. Now we converted into signal input. Tundry. See. It's working as expected. Okay. So the next thing is uh, we have to work for the signal output. So the same way, let me explain the existing thing. So in my child component, I'm having one at output. Okay. The name is transfer data. And also I'm having a button send data, right? Once I click the button, the event will be triggered. So in this event, we are emitting this one. Okay. The same transfer data. And here we are passing this area value, the calculated value. Okay. Next in our parent component side. So the same output is referred as the event. So here I just binded another one function get data. So in this get data function, I'm getting the actual value. So the actual value I'm just assigning into our received data variable. Finally, this received data is displayed in my HTML side. That is our parent component. We received this data. If you look at the UI, we received the value is zero. Once I click to the same data, this 375 is transferred. So similarly, if I'm changing something, now it is 250. Once I clicked, the value is transferred. Okay. So the same thing only, uh, but I'm just converting this into output signal. So again, the changes from our child component side. Let me command this one. Okay. We can use the same name. Right. And we have to use the output okay that's it so if you look at the output uh, we have this event emitter but here it's very simple we just used this output so if required we can uh, do the data type number okay so other than that uh, there is no more changes let me save them So now if I'm trying once again, see the function is working as expected. So if you look at the code, see it's reduced the number of lines, it's removed the ng on changes hook and see the declaration of input and comparing to the signal input. So the same way for the output, it's reduced the number of lines, right? And finally, uh, we can see how to include the alias. So first let me do for this height, okay. Alias, just to provide a height. Right, the same way uh, for the width, I can get WT, okay. Now I am getting the error in my parent component. So here also we need to change this into height width okay the error got resolved so the same way for our output also just to get data so in this case uh, i can use it here so in this child component, uh, we are completely referring this transfer data, but in this parent component, we can use this alias name. So if you look at the functionality, it should work. Okay. So the next thing is, uh, whenever I'm clicking the send data only, I'm transferring the data from our child to parent, right? So the same way, like whenever the calculation is happened, if you want automatically transferring this data into our parent component, that also we can do. 
by using the signal option let me show you again in my child common side let me include the constructor so in this constructor we can refer the effective function this one also part of the signal okay so in this cfi side we can emit this one okay see now 20 see automatically reflected here also okay All right okay this is working fine now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video let me explain how to use view child and content child with these signals okay thank you thanks for watching